which is a Canadian company uh, in the IT services sector. But we also make products, incidentally. Uh, when I talk about talent acquisition uh, in the current uh, landscape, uh, if I put it in context of the IT industry, it's about a disruption happening. It's about DevOps and Agile being methods of delivering the services. It's about new technologies, primarily in the microservices stack, using cloud coming in. And therefore, what is happening is that the people interviewing themselves sometimes do not know enough about the new technology. The people coming in for interviews very often have concepts and only a rudimentary experience in the specific technology for which they are being interviewed. And the number of people with solid project experience on the relevant technologies are very, very few. Now, that creates a certain set of complexities for talent acquisition, which ranges from figuring out what the expectations of the hiring managers or the interview panels are on one side, whether they have clarity of thought, to what the candidates bring to the table and at what price points those very few candidates with the relevant experience will come and what's the market intelligence around it and how to practically make it happen. That's the challenge. Now we have faced this challenge before as well during mainframe Y2K period, that was the hot skill. Later on, it became SAP. Later on, it became Java. And then for a long time, I think, the industry had actually stabilized and commoditized between 2008 and 2014. And now again, with the microservices and the agile way of operating, we are seeing a discontinuity. I personally believe the solutions can be learned from history why we will need to innovate and two or three of the very basic ways in which we will do that is that while on one side an ecosystem builds up with finishing schools and new methods of training and new industry academy collaboration to generate the new skills as some of those skills become market leaders and we start stabilizing on them on the other side we will have new and innovative ways of recruiting which includes focusing on learning agility, learning to learn as a competence, and focusing on what millennials, who are increasingly uh, the largest part of the talent pool, what they want, how they want to experience life and career, how they deal with social media, being basically digital natives, and therefore certain techniques of sourcing and screening using certain digital platforms they will come into play and we will leverage on that to get this talent in. I think collectively, we already have the makings of the solution. As we move forward, they will become more sophisticated till the next disruption.